Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss when do you use a bracket and parentheses in math. Now, the brackets and the parentheses are often organizational tools when it comes to uh, algebra, because even though, and even though we know and are familiar with the parentheses, if we use parentheses and only parentheses throughout the entire problem, it can lead to potential confusion when it comes to organization of symbols. So for variety purposes, they introduce brackets to kind of uh, distinguish between the different symbols that you have and the terms as you go forward in any math problem. So for example, if you have an expression x plus 5 and it's part of an overall bigger problem, you can put it in parentheses, but if you know you want to make the expression a little bit larger for simplification purposes, then what you want to think about is incorporating a bracket. So for example, if you have something like 5 plus x plus 5, and you can put a brackets around it to let the reader know that, okay, I have two sets of symbols i got to work with. The inside symbols are x plus 5, and the outside symbols are in the brackets. And then you could put, like, for example, a 4 um, on the outside. And what the reader will know then, if they see a problem that involves brackets and parentheses, is the parentheses will be the interior terms that they got to take care of first for the order of operations, and then after they're done, then they can work with the brackets. So when to use brackets and parentheses is when you have more complex expressions that really need or additional organization, and that's where the brackets and parentheses come into play. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that provides a brief glimpse as to when to use brackets and parentheses in math.